Welcome to Resdera, everybody. My name is Malcolm, and this is a segment on our 2021 Passport Touring Edition. One of the things I would like you to focus on is the rugged look that it portrays. Um, pretty uh, opposite of his of his twin brother, um, the past of uh, the pilot, and definitely um, different from the CRV. This is supposed to give it a rugged look um, to be uh, comparable with off roading and more adventurous sites, as you can even tell. They come standard with roof rails. Um, so that you can do biking and kayaking in the whole nine. So as you probably already know, the CRV is a smaller version of the Passport and the Pilot is a bigger version of the Passport. The Pilot is almost like a CRV on steroids. And this See, our, this uh, pilot allows you, I mean, this passport actually allows you um, to have a lot of the cargo room, a lot of the cargo room without the third row seating, as you can see in the back. And to enhance the cargo room, if need be, you can push this button right here, which will allow that to fold down like that, which will enhance cargo space. Boom. A couple other cool features that you would get with this touring passport that comes standard is LED headlights. Not the halogen one, but this one will allow the light to cut through the night. Um, you also get some parking sensors, as you can see, that is located on the front and also on the back. So these little buttons, these little things right here is parking sensors. I know in a lot of vehicles like these, people are expecting greatness, and this right here is your key fob. This key fob allows you to have keyless entry to where you can push the button to either lock the vehicle to unlock the vehicle, and also hands-free capability. This button right here, after you lock it two times, hold this circular button down till it light up, let go. As you can see, it's gonna indicate on there, then you have remote start as well. With my key in hand, um, I can also turn off the remote stop like that and the engine turns off. Everything is calm, cool and collective. As you can see, um, the key is in my pocket, the door is locked, well you can't really see, but I'm gonna stick my hand in here, door unlocked. I have access to be able to get into the vehicle now. Um, the passenger do have um, power sliding seats. Eight way adjustable. One, two, three, four, five, six, and lumbar support back and forward. Now you also have auto um, window control, which is automatic up and down and memory seats, just in case you and your other driver is um, have height differences. We ain't gonna say no names, but we know who you are, okay? This right here is your steering wheel column. Go ahead, hop in here real quick. This is your steering wheel column. Um, your Bluetooth capabilities. Um, let's turn it on real quick. So this right here is your steering wheel column. Um, wrapped in leather, um, smooth and elegant. Uh, I might say myself, uh, this right here is your speedometer, uh, which shows you your miles. Um, on the right hand side, it shows you um, your gas, how much you actually have. On the left hand side is how the coolant, is, how cool it is, and how hot it is, uh, which is pretty cool. It also shows you your distance um, averages as well. So. 
is so you can keep track of how much gas you're actually using and at the bottom it showed you your range so with a full tank um you're getting close to 378 miles um with a full tank of gallon of gas over here we have our auto headlights for on and off so they'll come on automatically in the nighttime. Um, this is how you can adjust your mirrors as well. Now Honda safety features is pretty cool. Um, this actually lights up right here if a vehicle is on your blind side. And you also have another one on this side as well. If you can see that little square box right there. Cool, this is the H, this is the scream where you'll be able to go through your navigation. This is how the navigation look, or you can use your Apple CarPlay if you like Waze or different navigation um, systems. Um, you can also go here for the phone, which is gonna register. You can connect your phone um, and so forth. The neat thing about this, which is what I like, is that I can rearrange it to how I want it and where I want it. and so i i can make all of my priorities here if i if i don't need this extra screen i can hide a lot of this stuff too if it's not important to me as well you also have dual air control uh, for temperatures to go up or down whichever way seems fitting for you um heated seats as you can see they're on very very low but when it snows here in wisconsin definitely going to be kicking that bad boy up like that um this right here is your electrical transmission shift your your shifter uh, which is pretty cool as long as your foot is on the brake this is the reverse as you can see the backup camera comes up there with three different views um that you're able to use okay um this right here is almost like a sonar give you the description of how close you are to certain um things so let's see how good it is so it's saying i'm getting hot it's gonna say i'm getting hotter let's see how far it go so it's alerting me so i think i'm gonna stop right there i'm gonna go ahead and go forward so this right here is the drive button it goes green and this right here is our different traction control so if you want to shift through normal snow mud or sand you have that capability which gives you enforced more durability um, depending on uh, the traction the type of terrain you are in some of the other luxury features that you do have is um garage control so you can program this to your garage and this mirror right here also um has auto dimming lights so when other people or trucks have uh led headlights um it's not cutting straight through um your back mirror and blinding you now this is what i love most on a lot of big trucks a lot of times the gas or the trunk button is down at the bottom but this right here is actually up close where you can just reach and be comfortable or even if you step down and reached over it's still in a vicinity where you don't have to bend because a lot of people get bigger suvs so they don't have to do that much bending now talking about showing out especially when you want you know luxury for all those who is around you um <laughs> People in the back seat also get to have heated seats, um, charging plugs, and a regular AC outlet as well, and even sunshade. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, listen. I know I talked briefly about the trunk space of the uh, of the touring um, passport. One of the main features that is important in this is especially if you need more space nine times out of ten you're carrying more things and with you carrying more things the last thing you want to do is reach in your pocket put everything down and pick it back up again so this gives you the ability to kick hands-free tailgate 
and the trunk opens for you again. You can go throw all of your equipment inside. Boom. Want to be sporty again. Kick and walk away. Kick, push. So all of my cars come kick, push. If you was a kick, push fan, you know what I'm talking about. But this is the 2021 Honda Passport Touring Edition here at Rusdero Honda. My name is Malcolm Levine. You can always reach me at 414-676-0496.